In today's video in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we're going to be answering the question, is the St. George's legendary armor set and weapons good? Are they good? Like, you know, they certainly look really nice. Like, I, I love the aesthetic to it. It reminds me of my Thane's armor just in red instead of blue. And obviously there's like the cross kind of stuff there. So it's like has a has that like whole like Christian-y vibe to it. Like that whole like, you know, English kind of Templar, Knights Templar kind of vibe. If you want to look like a Templar, this is definitely something that you should should like use and, and, and like wear. So apart from the aesthetic, let's talk about what the the... St. George's armor is like. So the first thing that I really like about this armor is that it's bear type armor. Like we don't really have really a lot of options for bear type armor. It's kind of like the Brigande like entry level beginner kind of armor set. And then we have the Thane's bear armor set which is like the best in the game in my opinion. And then we have this St. George's armor. So obviously this is going to be a, a competitor for the Thane's armor in my opinion. So now when you have a full set of St. George's holy armor you basically basically get the set bonuses where you can increase your attack after impaling an enemy. Now, impaling is a very specific word. Um, I know with a sword you can impale on the last attack. Does impaling work with a spear as well? I, I'm not too certain. It also has an additional increase to your speed, so it makes you a little bit faster, which is great, uh, because the, the armor is a little bit heavier than the Thane's armor, which we'll talk about in a second. If we look at the Holy Sword, the Holy Sword, when it does a heavy critical hit, it's able to knock your enemies down on the floor. And once they're on the floor, you can just go whack away and smack them, smack them crazy. It's it's pretty insane. The shield, the, the tower shield, increases your melee damage when you're blocking. So I believe you're actually supposed to use these two things together. However, I don't really use sh the shields in the game that much, so I just went full on sword only. So you'll see the, the, the footage that I have here is just basically, it's just basically me using just the sword. And that alone is okay. I, I would say it's fine. Honestly, I don't like the sword too much. Like, I'm, I'll be upfront about it. I don't like the sword too much. I don't feel like it's nearly as strong as my my Gungnir spear. But I, I, be, I believe that spear, because of its reach and its damage and its capabilities, just makes it the best weapon in the game. And it's very hard to beat the Gungnir spear because it's just it's just too damn good. Like, there, there, there's nothing that can really effectively compete against the spear. The spear just does too much damage. It's too great. It's too. It, it, there's too many things going for it. The sword is fun to play um, but I wouldn't use it permanently the major thing I would compare here is the St. George's armor compared to the Thane's armor which one is better and why so let's look at the stat difference between the two armors so first of all St. George's armor has one higher armor value than the Thane's armor now this is mythical upgraded like fully upgraded everything is like maxed out and comparing them to like that the St. George's armor has one higher armor the evasion, though, is one one unit lower than the Thane's armor. The next two stats are my deciding factors of which armor I personally would stick with and, and, and use. And that is the light attack resistance and the heavy attack resistance. Now, this is when enemies are using light attacks against you or heavy attacks, which are in red. And they manage to hit you. So your light attack resistance on the St. George's armor is two points lower than the Thane's armor. So it means when enemies are just doing light attacks and hitting you, you're going to take a bit more damage than usual. Whereas if you're getting hit by enemies with the red, shining red attacks, the heavy attacks, you will actually have two points higher in defending against that with your resistance. So it means you'll be better against taking hits from like the big shiny red attacks, but worse at taking hits from like the weaker light attacks. There's also the stat here that the weight is one unit higher for all the armor pieces compared to the Thane's armor set. However, I feel like this might actually just be kind of like removed entirely because the fact that you actually have a bonus that increases your speed uh, with, the, with the armor set. So it kind of feels like you have a higher weight, but then you have the speed. So it feels like your speed is just catering to your higher weight. So that doesn't really count as a bonus effect. The only bonus effect you really have here is increasing your attack after impaling an enemy. So after looking at all these stats and everything, I have to say that the St. George's armor is a really good option if you like the color and you really want to invest in it. But I think for the best, best results, I, I still think the Thane's armor is actually slightly better than the St. George's armor in terms of like how, 
how much damage you can avoid taking on a regular basis because of the fact that you'll probably get hit with light attacks more often than you would with the shiny red ones because I don't know if you're like me and you manage to dodge the red ones more than you dodge the light attacks. It's usually the light attacks that are going to hit me and the Thane's armor is, is best for dealing with that and that's why I would pick the Thane's armor over the St. George's armor. However, I do really like how the St. George's armor looks. Like, it looks it looks fantastic, dude. I actually, I actually really like it. But other than that, I still think it is a top class armor set in the game. So if you are using it, there is no downside. It's it's still very damn good. I just don't like the weapons that come with it. I would personally use a weapon that's better like the, obviously, Odin Spear Gungnir, which is just fabulous, need I say more. I hope this video was interesting to listen to, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.